guys, Crystal and Shadow here, back with Steven Universe, and this time it's Last One Out of Beach City, <laughs> starring Pearl as the repressed nerd. And Steven as some other guy. The voice of reason. No, that's never what, I mean, no, that's never how it goes. For once, Steven was the voice of reason. Not possible. <laughs> I thought Garnet was the voice of reason. Well, she wasn't in it at all. She was too busy being at the last episode. <laughs> oh, well, we had something with Pearl being weird. whoop de doo she saw somebody with pink hair. Now we know what Pearl's fetish is. The end, Pearl does <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, Pearl tried to be cool. It was funny sometimes. I guess. I think the only joke I laughed at was the part where it said Ocean Town no longer on fire. Oh, yeah. That's one of those blink and you'll miss it things. <laughs> I love that one. That's about the only thing I could think of. That was all right. Yeah. But, I don't know. It was an all right episode. You know I don't care for Pearl-focused episodes. Yeah. Oh, well. So much for Pearl being over Rose. <laughs> That's okay. Peep. These shows need... This is the first realistic show, then. Nobody's ever over somebody. Everyone has a type, and we just stick to it. Yeah, exactly. When you find someone similar, you can't help but think about it. Exactly. So what's that say about you? What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know what Pearl's into. Yeah. I mean, we already knew that. But, I mean, it's the pink hair she's into. She's not actually... See, we were too, in case you were trying to figure out, you, you could have figured out maybe Pearl's into pink hair, maybe she's just into really large people, maybe she's into other people, maybe she's just angry at Greg, maybe Pearl's an annoying character. Okay. This, I'm getting off track. <laughs> okay. Well, it was all right. I guess I'll give it a seven. Yeah, but Pearl forgot to put her clothes on. <laughs> She's already got clothes on. She put on pants and a jacket over her normal clothes. Yep. It just shows that they they don't really take off those clothes. They're kind of stuck to their body. Why didn't she just fuse herself into different clothing like Amethyst sometimes does? Mm, true, but... Exactly. But I'll give it a six, because Pearl is never going to be a character you want to have an episode for. <laughs> Alright. But what is the next episode we're watching? <laughs> yeah, the next episode would be Onion Gang, but we already did that one a while ago. Boy, that was a long time ago. Yeah. That was a spell. That's got to be like, what, three or f two or three months ago we did the Onion ones? I don't know. But next episode... Gem Harvest. Not Gem Heist. No. We're going to be growing gems, not stealing them. <laughs> all right. That's Next your episode, we learn that. all about how we grow gems. Actually, yeah. In, in Catch and Release, when Peridot reformed and she looked in the bubble room, her reaction was, oh, my stars, you're going to harvest me? That was a weird impersonation, but okay. I can't do the voice. It was all right. All right, well, next time we will learn how gems grow. See you next time, guys. We already learned about gems growing in the kindergartens. <gasps> We're finally go going to go see Peridot's holes. Oh, freaking. She wasn't made on Earth. I know. I never said we were staying on Earth. Oh, freaking hell. We tried... To go to Homeworld once before, remember, in in Space Race. It didn't go well. Which one was Space Race? It's a season one episode where Pearl tried to take him to space. Oh, yeah. I was thinking... Which of... is probably what he was referring to when he said, that was the most scared I was since the time you let me almost let me die. I mean, to be fair, there's been ha countless times he's almost died with Pearl around. Yeah. Could have been referring to an off-screen adventure. It's, no, it's a very small window. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. But anyway, we will see you next time for more Peridots and other things as well. <laughs> see you next time, guys. See you next time.